Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem where you have to do a little simplification of some number sentences and um, decide if they're true or false. And then if they are possibly, if there's some truth to them also to, to see if you can name the property that they are uh, um, representing. So we've got some properties we're gonna talk about as well as how to simplify number sentences here. So this is, by the way, this is from um, CPM, and this is course three, and this is section uh, 2.1.8 and number 2-77. So it says, decide if each statement below is true or false. Explain how you know and name any pro properties you use. Refer, the math, refer to the math notes in the boxes. So the math notes talk about those properties uh, in lessons 2.15 as well as 2.17. So this first one. So if I'm going to simplify this, I want to first just decide. I'm going to rewrite it so we can see it. Negative 19 plus 7 equals negative 7 plus 19. So at first you look and think, oh, maybe that's the commutative property. But those are different numbers, right? Negative 19, positive 7. Negative 7, positive 19. So they're not the exact same number that's just been flipped. So if we add those together, negative 19 plus 7 is negative 12. Adding opposite signs, you subtract the numbers, the bigger one keeps its sign. Negative 7 plus 19, again, opposite signs, subtract the numbers, you get 12, and the large, there's more positives, so that it's positive 12. So if we look, negative 12 does not equal positive 12. So this one is false, right? And, and that's the reason why. So then B, B says 4 fifths times 1 equals 4 fifths. Well, that would be true, wouldn't it? And in fact, that is a property, right? So if you take this, if you take a number, multiply by one, and it equals itself, we call that the identity property. Okay, that's the identity property of multiplication. Okay, so this is the identity property of multiplication. So true because identity property multiplication. And then I look at this one. This is 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 equals 1. Would that be true? Well, let's let's check that out. So uh, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3. If I do multiplication of fractions, remember multiplication of fractions is just to multiply the tops, the numerators, and the denominators. So it's 3 times 2 over 2 times 3, which is equal to 6 over 6, which sure enough does equal 1. Right. And, and so we would say that is true. And there's actually a property that that represents. This property would be uh, considered the um, the multiplicative inverse is what we call it. So we'd say multiple multiplicative. Oops, forgot my C there. Sorry. Multiplicative inverse property. So multiplicative inverse property, that's, yeah, it's an ICA. All right, and then the last one here, if I have 5 times 7 minus 5 times 1 fifth equals 34. So we got to determine that. So let's first, if order of operations, I always multiply before I subtract, right? So do the multiplication here. 5 times 7 is 35 minus 5 times 1 fifth. So 1 fifth of 5 is 1. Right, five times one fifth, one fifth of five is one. Does thirty-five equal thirty-five minus four one equal thirty-four? Sure does. Thirty-four equals thirty-four. Yes. So that is also true. And there's really no property here that that we're representing um, to show that. So we can just show it by doing the uh, order of operations and showing that the math is true. Okay. All right. There you go.